Welcome to Car Packing Tips with Yakima. Today we're gonna give you some basic tips and tricks for getting all of your gear into your vehicle. Now, depending on the trip, length, and, and type, you know, the gear list is gonna vary, and obviously the size of your vehicle will vary, but there's some basic things and rules you can follow uh, to really just ease the pain of packing and make your trip a little bit more successful. So, let's get started. The first tip we have, which is a little bit of a plug for Yakima products, uh, is just to add more space onto your vehicle with a cargo solution. So whether that's a box or a basket or even a bag, uh, just add, adding that extra square footage to uh, your, your storage capacity is a huge win. If you do decide to expand your cargo space with a box or a basket, a lot of people want to know, uh, well, what, what do I put up there? Um, if you have a basket, uh, you know, that's big bulky items, coolers, firewood, things like that, things that can get wet. But a box, you know, really opens up some possibilities. So I'm gonna uh, climb up here and open it up and we'll take a look about what kind of works well. Um, so, you know, you really want things that you're accessing at the uh, campsite or at your destination, not things that you wanna get to regularly. So I've got um, a long camp table in here, so any long items are really nice to put up in the cargo box, especially if you have a longer box like this one. So camp chairs are great. And then I typically recommend doing your luggage and your sleeping bag. So sleeping bags are big and bulky, but light. So take up a lot of volume, but not a lot of um, weight up here. And then, you know, depending if you pack in a, a duffel bag, some people will take a pack. You know, we've got um, another piece of luggage here, a kind of a more of a carry-on size that can slide in there um, as well. Those pieces are really helpful to get up and out of the way and out of the vehicle. Keep in mind that this does get kind of hot up here if it's sunny, so you don't want anything flammable, anything perishable, um, and keep all those things down inside your vehicle. And we'll show you how to organize that here in a minute. Almost any trip you're going on in your vehicle, even if it's just a road trip for a few days, um, and especially camping, you're gonna bring food with you. So that usually encompasses a, a cooler and some sort of dry goods storage as well. Those items typically will go in the back of your vehicle. Um, so one thing I recommend is to take a second cooler, whether it's a small cooler um, or a soft-sided cooler that you can stow in the passenger area of your vehicle. So that way um, you have road trip snacks. So um, something like this, very easy to stow. Um, maybe just set it in the center of your back seat and um, easy to grab for uh, you know, kids, for your friends, or for you to just reach back and, and nab and uh, get a snack for the road. So up top, we've got our longer items, our um, big volume but lighter items like sleeping bags and clothing. And back we've got some of our heavier items, um, maybe some more square items, bulky items. So we've got some dry storage, our stove, we've got our big cooler, and then some water as well. Um, one other thing I like to, like to keep back here are some of my day activity products. So whether that's your, your biking gear or a day, a day pack if you wanna go on a hike, that way you can stop and grab that real quick and not get up in the box um, and just grab that out of the vehicle. Um, I also wanna make sure you guys realize that your fuel for your stove should definitely be inside the vehicle, not up in the box where it gets super hot. Um, and that's another reason why your perishable goods, your food is down here as well, just to keep the temperature controlled. So one last little tip for you, um, if you're traveling with bikes, this vehicle has a unique setup where you can actually get into your uh, rear of your vehicle pretty easily with the bikes loaded. So it's called a swing bike rack. Uh, it goes in the hitch and allows the bikes to move out of the way fully loaded. So I wanna show you that real quick, just as a, an option for you. If you do travel regularly with bikes and you wanna get in and out, get to that cooler, get to that day pack, um, or your biking gear really easily. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna swing this open. It locks out there and then you can get in here and uh, grab all the items that you need without having to deal with taking the bikes on and off. So keep that in mind um, if you are going on a bike, bike centered adventure. And so that's it. We've got all of our gear that we had here loaded up into our vehicle in our cargo box and in the back nice and organized. We still got our snacks up front to uh, grab on the way and uh, I'm ready to hit the road for an adventure. Um, I hope you are too. So uh, we'll see you out there on the road and thanks for joining us.